Hey gang, let's head on over to the livery editor and create this Mazda LM55 Vision Gran Turismo. Hey everybody, Uncle Guy here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and a share. You can add any comments below. And if you haven't done it already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you won't miss any of the new stuff. All right, here we go. Okay, here is our clean slate Mazda LM55 Vision Gran Turismo car. We'll start by getting a little blue on there. Kind of going with our traditional theme here. You already saw kind of a preview of the car in the, in the opener. I'm uh, going to do the mirrors green. And we're going to do the wheels in green as well. I think that looks pretty nice. Get that on there. Get that on there. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put the Puma logo on. Just in the back corner there. This is a little different shaped car. So it was kind of interesting trying to come up with designs that I thought would look nice. But uh, I think it comes out pretty good. Let's see what you guys think. And then of course we reverse that to the other side. And I've been doing these in the in the background like this, but I don't like it because it keeps this side of the car in shadow. So this is a little splash we got out of shapes. Thought it looked kind of cool on that little swoopy part of the car. Um, but I think I'm going to quit using this view because it, it, this side of the car is dark. It's hard to see what things are going to look like. You see when we get to the other side how much brighter it is. This side's in shadow for whatever reason. So that looks pretty good on there, a little splash of color. Next we're going to put some Bilstein on the rear wing on the top. Do one side and then we'll just duplicate it over to the other side. Like that, looks pretty cool on there. I'm staying with a lot of the same sponsors. As we go further I'm sure I'll add some different things. So now on the side wing we're going to put GoPro on the side and then we'll get a big tag logo on there. Get that centered up and then uh, Go ahead and copy that to the other side, and then they're going to do an awry helmets down below that. I think it looks kind of nice. Get a little, get a little color, get some decals on the car, make it look a little more like a race car. This is one of my all-time favorite cars in Gran Turismo 6. I haven't driven it yet here in uh, Gran Turismo Sport, but it, it's just an awesome car. Eight-speed transmission sounds as good as anything in the game. Now we put the Gran Turismo stickers back here. And when you see the car from the top, they're actually kind of sitting in front of the rear wing, so they came out pretty good. Put a little more Puma on the back. Like that logo a lot. If you've been watching my stuff, I use that pretty much. And then of course we're going to have Shell on board. Just because that logo looks kind of nice and it all kind of fits into the theme and my colors. And then we got Yokohama, we're going to put that above the Pumas on the back fenders. Get that on both sides. That really speeds things up and it lines things up nice. You get it the way you like it on one side. So I decided to put another splash. On this side I got to flip it around and then we're going to make it a little bit bigger. We'll put it on the panel up above. I use the same one. I think it looks kind of cool. It just seems to fit that line of that space pretty good. And then we'll do that on the other side. In real time, this took me, we got Puma on the hood here. Real time, this took me about 40, 40, 45 minutes to do. We cut it down here as best we can so it doesn't get too drawn out. But hopefully you guys are enjoying these. I know I like to watch the livery stuff uh, when I was first started seeing it. And there hasn't been a lot of it up. So I'm trying to put a few up just so you guys can see kind of some of the fun stuff we can do with it. And then we'll duplicate that over there. That's the first time we've had Castrol on the car, but I thought it might look good up there. And then we'll take the awry here and then we tilt it just a little bit. You can rotate all these any way you want. I just rotate a little bit, try to line up with that castor oil decal. And I think that looks pretty good up there. Not a whole bunch more we can really do on this car. I suppose there is, but I, I try not to get them too muddy. But that looks kind of good on the, on the hood there. And then we're going to put our little logos on the mirror. I think I just went, it's too small for me to see, but I think it's, I just put Gran Turismo on there this time. Usually I put Polyphony or Gran Turismo on the mirrors. And then one more little GoPro above the Puma. Get that going. And I didn't know what to do with the sideboard initially. Um, 
because I could I tried a couple decals but it, you couldn't really see them on the background so I decided to just take a stripe and cover that whole area so you see you can grow that stripe out and we cover the whole area and then when I paint it green it'll just follow the contour of that and I thought that came out kind of cool looking especially from the top and sides look you can see kind of through the fenders in the front we'll put a tag on that one <clears throat> That going on both sides and we'll do Bilstein shocks on there and that's kind of the main design um, I think it came out kind of cool looking again I can't wait to drive this car I think it's kind of cool a few views of it for you and the one last thing we need to do we need to go put our racing number on it and our little windshield uh, banner and that'll kind of do it for this design so again enjoying doing these I hope you guys are enjoying watching them that's kind of the look let me know what you think in the comments if you like it or if you would like to see something else or if you want to see a different car I'm happy to do it but that's kind of it gang I think it came out pretty good well, that's it for me thanks for watching you guys and we'll see you next time have a good one